Well, I'm heading off to go take some pictures for our snowstorm we're having, which isn't really much of a snowstorm as you saw earlier when I had the camera turned the other way. Uh, just got to back up over here, and I'm going to be going down to the lake to take some pictures of the fishing cabins, which I'll be doing some uh, ice fishing at some point in time. Hold on, there's a big bump coming up. There we go. And, yeah, I'm heading down there right now. So, just showing a little clip of the uh, snowstorm, how it looks right now, in a driving perspective. Heading up First Street uh, in Eagle Lake. It's not really too bad for us right, right now. Uh, I guess Portland area, which is what, 500, 600 miles away from us? Uh, have closing uh, roads and and everything right now. I guess they're getting dump loaded big time on from this storm. We're not supposed to be getting too much snow. We're supposed to only be getting like oh probably probably. Uh, Three, four inches of snow. We got some snowmobilers out here today. Of course, good snowmobiling roads. And uh, yeah. Anyways, that's what we're doing. We're getting some uh, like about three or four inches. It's been like that for the last uh, couple years right now. We're usually the ones who get the big time snowfalls, but not getting it this year. This one might accumulate to something because it started a little bit, something more than that because it started a little bit earlier than uh, than it was planned. It was supposed to start, oh, about like three or four. Well, not one or two, but it started at like nine o'clock this morning. Now it's 11 13. Um, the big amount of snow you see right now is from the last storm we had. That's just the banks and stuff. The uh, snow you see on the road is from the uh, is from the storm that we have right now. It started at 9 o'clock this morning. Well, anyways, take care guys. And well, I said I was going to take some pictures, but I figured I'd do a video clip instead because the... Um, I don't feel like going outside, and I'm doing it through my through my truck windshield. I zoomed in on the cabins, and this is basically a regular in this air, type of area and other areas too for ice fishing. You know, put up cabins, it makes like a little village, and uh, no fishing out there. I, well, my father has a cabin out there somewhere. I'm not exactly sure which one. But I'll be fishing this, uh, I'll be fishing this, uh, this year at some point when I, um, when I get my fishing license. Right now it's snowing and the wind is blowing and all that. And uh, like I said, I just didn't feel like going down there. Uh, I don't trust the ice anymore here on Eagle Lake with the temperatures we've had in the past. And like, you know, fluke 
the food temperature is like 40 below and shit like that, probably hardened it enough. You know, like there's vehicles out there, but I like to walk. So myself, I'm just gonna like walk to the cabin and stuff. Sometimes, I, well, it depends. I might actually go riding out there at one point in time, but this is where my ice fishing videos are gonna be taken. Uh, unless I'm gonna be using my father's cabin, so unless he moves it to another local lake that's around here. But this here is on Eagle Lake. And I don't know if you can see the snow through the windshield, but it's snowing not too, too bad, but it's, uh, you usually see the other side of the lake, and right now it's kind of whiting out the background of the lake. So, yeah. Okay. Take care, guys, and, uh, I'll show you guys another video or some pictures somewhere around. Well, driving by, I'm just showing the other side of the lake, the cabins that are there. Just driving by because I don't feel like going down there. Showing them.